What's up, everybody? It is December 6th, Wednesday. Big slate tonight. Ten games. Trying to rebound off of the nonsense from yesterday. Um, feeling pretty good. I like the looks of the slate. Let's dive in. Because this is going to be a relatively long one. First up, we've got the Cleveland Cavaliers. Home against the Sacramento Kings. They are... 12 and a half point favorites at home, which I said already. What are you going to do? Third highest implied total. Um, we know the drill on the Cavs. We're looking at Braun. We're looking at Kevin Love. Maybe Dwayne Wade. And then you're looking at, you know, J.R. Smith types for um, GPPs. So let me update the shooting numbers quick since, uh, you know, I obviously don't prepare in any way. I just hit the record button and assume that everything is working is just like I'd like it. It's rarely the case. <sighs> I have a good feeling about tonight. For some reason I feel like my lineup is just going to come together and fit in like the best possible way. We shall see. I fully expect to be taking someone from Golden State, likely Durant, just because of Curry being out. But we'll see where Braun ends up. This one's probably going to be ugly. Uh, no Willie Cauley Stein. Uh, Kings have called up Papa G and other just floats him. Yeah, oh, this is going to be ugly. Okay, so, like, obviously LeBron is in play because he should trounce the Kings and they don't have anything that can stop him. But at the same time, you know, the blowout is real. That, that's real blowout potential here. They've been playing so well. The Kings are garbage. Playing at home, coming off a rest... Like, LeBron gets written down because if something opens up and you can get stars and scrubs, you know, you want it. But it's going to be tough. He could play 28 minutes. This could be, the like, a real rest game for him. Um, I'll entertain JR at 4,300. And I think that you have to take a look at Kevin Love. Probably not the best spot for Wade. Just because of the way that he plays. So Braun needs... ...58, 59. We know that he can get there, so that's fine. Um... J.R. Smith, okay, he needs 21. He has done that in three of his last seven, but he's very boomer bust. When he's on, it's great. When he's not, it's not. I can't imagine taking him in cash, but I wouldn't be mad if I ended up there. Just, just going to have to happen that way. And then Kevin Love needs 41, which he has done in three of his last four. I think that's a really realistic scenario for him. All over the place on love. But he should be able to do whatever he wants to do um, offensively. Let's go to Sacramento now where, oddly enough, I think I might be on someone here. And um, I normally am not. 99 points, 17th highest highest implied total out of the 20 on the slate uh, like I said Willie Cauley Stein is out so I think that Zebo is now in play oddly enough it's gonna be perfect for me when I uh, roster Zebo tonight for the first time all year after talking shit and he's just gonna come out and lay an egg and play like 18 minutes and I'm gonna fly to Sacramento and freak out 
<sighs> but with Willie Colley Stein out, I'm giving a boost to uh, Costa Kufos and you know some of the other trash at the bottom of the heap for them. Oh, brother. Might be a year at Temple Day. Said no one ever. All right, Randolph needs 30. He's done that in four of his last six. And the two games that he didn't do it were the games that he played 19 and 22 minutes, respectively. Has his salary moved? Yes. It is up $600 since his last game. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to look at him, and he's almost assuredly in my lineup, unless weird news comes out. And then I don't think that Kufos will get enough minutes, so I'm not going to pay too much attention to that. But at 3500 like, you know, a min salary on FanDuel, he's worth a punt in GPPs for sure. Other than that, Garrett Temple needs 22. You know, he's in and around that range, but he doesn't have a ginormous upside. I think Bogdan um, is worth a look on DK at 3800 I think that looks really good. But I just don't like the minutes on anybody else. So we'll head to Indiana now. Uh, Pacers and Bulls. Pacers at home. Um, nine and a half point favorites. They have the sixth highest implied total at 109.25. Um, this one's a toughie in that their prices are all pretty established. You know, the, they've been running this sort of lineup out for a while now, which makes it a little tougher to, to find value. But they're playing the Bulls, and the Bulls are trash. So, you know, someone's bound to go off here, you would think. Oladipo's price is at 9.4. Did that just, did that jump again? Or am I crazy? Yeah, up two more hundred. Mm. No, thank you. So yeah, I'm I'm not on Victor Oladipo at 9400. His price is buoyed by lots of steals and blocks, which I don't think is this sustainable. So that's not somebody that I'm looking at. Now Darren Collison is interesting. He needs 32 to hit value. Which he's done in two of his in his last two and basically four of six. Um, yeah, that's Doreen Collison. Crin. Can't even type. Other than that, I don't think I'll be going after my boy Boyan tonight. Or Thad or Miles Turner. I think I think that's probably it. Now I know Denzel Washington or yeah, Denzel Washington. Jesus Christ. Denzel Valentine um, popped up in the optimizer, so I'm anxious to see why that's happening because my my guess is that he had a big time salary drop. But I don't know why he would have that. So let's find out. Maybe he did. It's a nice matchup. He is 5,100. Down $1,200 from 
four nights ago, down another 300 from his last game. So at 5,100, that's pretty tasty. Um, he needs 25 for value. He's put up two stinkers, and he's gotten close to 25 in you know a couple of these games. But he's got 40 point potential. Um, yeah, I I like it a lot, just because of his salary. That's the thing you got to pay attention to. If he's falling a thousand dollars, but nothing has changed about sort of his uh, his minutes profile then I'm going to defer to a projection set based on, you know, a lot of data. I don't think that Denzel Valentine, the basketball player, has changed in a week. So, what do the minutes say? Yeah, uh, he looks really good and as, like, uh, you know, he, he looks better at 51 than he does at 62 or whatever. It's just, it's that easy. Other than that, I guess I could look at Justin Holiday and Markinen, but... I don't really want a lot of pieces of the Bulls tonight. Justin Holiday is at 5,900, so he needs 30, which he's done twice. That's not a spot for me. And Markinen needs 33. Not there, so I'm going to pass on the rest of the Bulls. Magic and Hawks. Magic are uh, six-point favorites at home against the Hawks. They have the third highest implied total tied with Cleveland and the Pelicans right now. Um, I'm just going to say, part of my French, but uh, fuck Aaron Gordon for his uh, miserable performance two nights ago. I'm still salty. Uh, he can join the Paul George All-Stars from last night of guys that I thought were going to have a much bigger role and ultimately just shit the bed. Um, so let's take a look at the Magic, where I'm hoping that I could roster Aaron Gordon. Uh, looks really good, too. Holy balls. So the Hawks give up by far the most corner threes in basketball. And they're second worst in giving up threes in general. So shoot the damn ball, Aaron Gordon. Don't just let Jonathan Simmons do everything that he wants to do. So this is perfect again. Has his salary moved? 8,300. I think he was 82 before. Oh, he's down 100. Two straight stinkers. Oh, it's an Aaron Gordon night. I'm doing it again. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. He needs 40. We know he can get there. 44.9, 78, 40, 38. Aaron Gordon, come on down. I'm back. You and I, buddy, we're going to bring it back on the winning ways together. Uh, this, so this, I need to look at almost everybody here. I need to look at Fournier and Vooch. Yeah, let's look at these guys. Um, Fournier needs 32. Yeah, I mean, I can see Evan Fournier playing well. And then Vooch against who the hell knows? I mean, it's like he's got to deal with Miles Plumley or Marshall Plumley or Mason Plumley or the one of the Plumley's dads. I don't fucking know. There's too many Plumleys, and I don't remember which one's on which team. Um, and, and as a Duke fan, I don't even know the difference between the two. If you ask me which which one came first, Mason or Miles, I'd be guessing. And like that was at a time where I was watching Duke more than I watched probably any other team play any sport. Those dudes are like are the same person to me, and probably to a lot of NBA teams. Well, they keep getting bank though. Shit, Vooch needs 40. I've done it a couple times. He's been in and around that range. Did his price jump? I feel like he was in like the low sevens earlier. Yeah, big jump, 500. 
why do I have this uncanny ability to remember that, but I can't remember, like, people's names or what team they're on or which Plumlee's which. But I can remember that Vooch's salary jumped 500 bucks. I don't know. Yeah, no thanks on that, but uh, I'm going to want a piece of Aaron Gordon tonight. Redemption song. Maybe I'll just listen to Redemption song during the live feed the entire time. It's probably close to, like, free music at this point. Atlanta Hawks. 105.5 implied total. It is 10th. Um, I, I don't even think I'm going to pull anything up here. Because it's basically just, do you want to roster Dennis Schroeder? If yes, roster Dennis Schroeder. Otherwise, get the hell out of there. Okay, so Miles is on Atlanta. Good to know. Um, I don't know what to do with Ilyasova, Babbitt, Kavanaugh, Miles. So you're really looking at Schroeder, Bazemore. Torian Prince, I'm not going to, like, he's not going to look better than Denzel Valentine at 51, so whatever, I don't care. Yeah, I, I'm not, I got to look at Schroeder because I feel like, I don't want to do this, but I feel like the magic guard, or like, people, guards just roast the magic. I feel like Schroeder probably does that too. See, so like, thrive on taking it to Alfred Payton by any chance. Sorta. So last year all games in the thirties. But now he's eighty one hundred instead of sixty five hundred, so it's probably not gonna matter. I'll look just to uh, see if it's something that I should pay attention to, but I don't think that it is. Ah oh, it is. Fuck. Baysmore needs 27. I hate this shit. Now I'll pass on Baysmore. He looks fine. Uh, if you want to roster Camp Baysmore, that's that's cool, but I'm not forcing it. Laser focus for today. Yeah, I can't. If Shooter's 81, whatever the hell, I'm not. That's a lot of, lot of points. All right, off to Boston. Boston and the Mavs. Uh, Celtics have a 105.75 implied total. That is ninth. Um, there's, they're slowly becoming a team that doesn't have a ton going on in fantasy from a like upside potential. You know, you just you got to look at Kyrie, who I think his salary is up. Yeah, well, he's been yo-yoing now back up to 89. Um, no one on the Mavs should be able to check Kyrie. Be right back. Gotta check the dog. And I don't feel like pausing the video and splicing these things together. Back, folks. Don't sign off yet. I know I could have uh, spliced these videos together, but I'm running out of time and um, it takes too long. Dog ripped the damn stocking off the mantle again. I'm gonna kill him. Crazy puppies. Alrighty. So, taking a look at the Celtics. I can't imagine liking too much here. They're just like a good team, and you know, they're in a situation where they shouldn't struggle too much tonight. But if there's anybody that stands out, I'm interested. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take a look at Horford. Other than that, I'm good. Horford is at 7,600, so he needs 38. He has done that three straight games, four out of his last five. 
how much has his salary grown because of that? He might be an easy fade. Not really that much. Yeah, I'd be silly to say that I'm not interested. I'm good on the rest of it. No real value to speak of. Now in Dallas, story's gonna be relatively the same. Um, they've got the 19th implied total. There's no value popping. I don't, I'm not gonna go into any of this. So we can skip that. Knicks. Knicks at home against the Grizzlies in the game that it will be the least watched game. Um, 100 implied total, that's 15th, and they're the favorite. Uh, the Zinger is back, so by default, you always have to take a look and see how he matches up. Um, how has he done traditionally against the Grizzlies? Uh, hard to glean anything from that. The Knicks are just bad. God, that... Like, Tim Hardaway Jr. is a good guy. Like, a, a good player to have on your team. But holy shit, what a terrible contract. Oh, that's just crippling. Um... Yeah, I don't see any interest in the Zinger or anything coming from the Knicks. Canter, I guess, but... He's got to put up 30. He's done it in two out of his last three since he's been back. Has his salary moved? It's gone down, holy hell. There are better values than this out there, but Cantor's been playing well. I have no problem rostering him there, but it's not a good spot. And then Memphis is going to look pretty similar. As of right now, I have uh, Chandler Parsons in. I'll take a look at, um, at Marcus Gasol out of respect for... Uh, how good he is but I'm gonna go ahead and assume you know the whole team sucks they are just really really bad lately huh okay So Marc Gasol is at 8,500. Has his salary moved anywhere? Not crazily, and it's down 300. So he needs 42, which he's done in two of his last three. Three of his last seven. I would entertain the idea of Marc Gasol. I think I'd rather have, well, I say that I'd rather have Kevin Love, but that game could get out of hand. Oh, he's, I don't, I don't know. I gotta get moving though. I'm halfway through. Lots to talk about left. Charlotte Hornets, 107.25. They have the seventh highest implied total. And they are facing the Golden State Warriors, who have the highest implied total of the night. And they are the Golden State Warriors are without Steph Curry. So keep that in mind. We for sure need to look at Kemba. Um, this is going to be an interesting game that I would imagine has a few pieces for me. At least two.
So I think it's worth it to look at Kemba and Batum. I don't ever totally trust MKG. Dwight Howard can suck it. I'm not going to go any further down the line for them. So Kemba needs 41. Which he has he did in his return. Um, hadn't done it in that stretch beforehand. I don't know if no curry is a good thing or a bad thing for him. Salary is up to 82. I can see it. I don't think I'll end up on it. Kima. And then Batum at 6,500. Has his salary moved? Because he had a big one. Yeah, up a thousand. Ugh. That's a shame. Yep, Michael K. Gilchrist is in play on DraftKings. BT dubs. There's a DraftKings shout out for you. Batum at 6,500. So that's 32. He's done it once. I'll, I'll pass. He shouldn't have jumped that high that quick. Now the Warriors. This will be interesting. No Steph Curry. They are five point favorites on the road. I like the sound of all of that. I can only assume that I'm going to have Durant. It would be hard to picture a scenario where I don't, but I have not looked at this yet, so. Oh yeah, I'm not even looking any further. Durant's at 10,000, sign me up. It's another good Draymond game too. He needs 40. You know, he had a huge, he had a monster game last night, but I'm going to say Draymond is in play as well. And then let's take a look at Clay. Clay needs 35 for value. And he's always just generally in and around that area. Without Steph, he put up 35. So. Look, all the studs uh, for Golden State are in a really good spot tonight. And Iguodala could be an interesting punt. I'm not going to have any of Sean Livingston or McCaw, I don't think. Um, Iggy needs 20 for value. That could very well happen. But I doubt I'd go Durant and Iguodala at small forward. But for people that want to go like LeBron or something instead of Durant, I see it. God, taking forever today. Milwaukee Bucks. Hosting the Detroit Pistons. 104.5 implied total. That is 11th. We're looking at Bledsoe, we're looking at Middleton, we're looking at Giannis, and that's it. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop. I'm almost out of coffee, which is sad. I wish that it would fill itself. Alexa, brew me more coffee. See, I wish it worked like that. Although I guess it kind of can. Giannis at 12-3. Um, it's a good matchup for him. I think it's a really good Chris Middleton game as well. What has Bledsoe's price done? Sinking. Okay. I don't like it here. I don't like Giannis at 12-3, that's so expensive. 
Oh my god. Like, I'd rather have Durant at 10, so. The more important piece of this, I think, is going to be Middleton. Has he moved at all? Yeah, so he's back up to his high end, which sucks. Middleton needs 37. Done it in two of the last three. Three of seven. Nope, three of six. That's pretty boom bust. Game should be close. He'll probably be getting Avery Bradley, or would they put Bradley on Bled? So oh, Reggie Jackson's not big enough. Yeah, um, I would be okay if I ended up there. No blood so for me though. Yeah, that's it. All right, on to the Pistons. Uh, 100.5 implied total is 14th. Um, I'm anxious to see this. I want to see where Drummond is because I feel like Drummond is in a spot to like go crazy. really good um, I assume that Milwaukee's a shitty rebounding team doesn't Jason Kidd like notoriously give those up yeah they don't try to offensive re they're a terrible rebounding team um, terrible rebounding team and they give up a ton of shots at the rim I think I might I think Andre Drummond might be my favorite play of the day so far from everything I've seen he's at 9500 though oh that's gone up a lot right no not really I guess I just I feel like I've had him on the eight nights but I didn't have him on any of those nights so okay I mean obviously he can get there it's uh 47 Reiki. Two of his last three. Th three of his last six. I think Drummond's is in a great spot. Ooh, a lot of centers tonight. Uh, Stanley Johnson's fine on DK. That's it for me in this game. I think. Nothing else of value, in my opinion. Uh, Pelicans, Nuggets. You know, this is all about, do you want Boogie or Drew? Did you run out of money and do you need Darius Miller? Pelicans, 111.5. Again, they are the tied for third in implied total. They are four and a half point favorites at home against the Nuggets. This game would be a lot more interesting if Millsap and Jokic and AD were playing, yet here we are. Boogie is 11-3, just crazy expensive, but, you know, I'm assuming I'm not going to Boogie. I like, because of how much I like Drummond. But, we'll see. Um, you know, it's not like the Nuggets have some crazy good interior right now. Corner threes. It's an Eton Moore, Darius Miller game. Mm. Sorry, guys. I'm tired. Okay. Has Drew moved? 7,100. I feel like that's just sort of where his salary is always. Yeah, he's up. He's up a lot. 
Drew needs 35. He's done it four times in his last six. It's not like Denver's got anybody to check him. So I at least need to entertain it. And then Boogie needs 56, which he's done once. Yeah, I'm going to fade Boogie. Or that's where I'm at, at least. Darius Miller needs 20. Um, probably not the spot, but he could could be a play in GPP. Etom Moore at 48, so he needs like 23. Again, a GPP for me. Off to the Nuggies. 107 implied total, that is 8th on the night. No Jokic, so we'll be getting a diet of uh, whatever the other Plumlee is. Mason Plumlee, 5,800, no way. So Gary Harris is at 6,700. Will Barton is at 7,500. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna like anything from Denver here, even though this is a pretty good-looking game. Uh, Mason Plumley is definitely in play on DK at 4,700. Um, I think the same can be said for no one else, <laughs> although maybe Jamal Murray. Okay, Gary Harris at 6,700 needs 33. Um, there's no reason he shouldn't be in and around that number. Will Barton, to me, is still too expensive. So I'm not looking to go there. Fareed needs like 26. Um, he can get there, but it's going to be tight. I wouldn't rule him out later. But I don't think that there's anything else for me here. Will Barton's just too expensive right now. I think. What has the salary done in the last two? Because I know it jumped big. To yeah, it's still going. I'm good. I don't care that he's hitting value. I probably should. But I'd rather have Gary Harris. Yeah. Last two games, this one is not going to be super sexy. Spurs and Heat. Spurs 102.5 implied total. They are at home, and they are 7.5 point favorites against the Heat. Um, obviously, no Kyle Anderson. And this is basically just a do you want Rudy Gay game. Which haven't had one of those in like seven years. So we do want to look at Aldridge, we do want to look at Gay, even though I'm not a big Gay guy. I'm good otherwise. So Aldridge is at 8300 which I feel like is a dip on his salary with the way that he was playing. That feels low to me. Yeah, he was up to 89 so that's coming back down. Um, no reason to be concerned about the big men on... The Heat, you know, just Kelly Olynyk's not going to be able to guard him. I don't think Bam is in any position. Lamarcus Aldridge would feast on Bam. Just too crafty. So he needs 41. Um, hasn't done it in his last two, but had that big stretch of 50 and 60. So I like it a lot. And then Rudy Gay at 6,200, so he needs 31. <clears throat> Did 36 in his last time out. If he's going to play 30 minutes, I think that he's in play. Um, Rudy Gary, whoever the hell that is. Now, the Heat have the worst implied total on the board, 95 points. Um, no white side. Everybody else looks terrible. You can play Tyler Johnson on DK, I guess. But I'm going to take a look at Kelly Olynyk. 
Needs 27. He can get there if he's getting those minutes. But I don't really like any of the Heat guys against the Spurs tonight. Finally, Clippers and Timberwolves. Um, Clippers are 5.5 point underdogs at home. 12th highest implied total. Uh, Gallinari is questionable right now. Which means, which is it's that's so crazy that he might be back. Uh, it takes a lot of those guys in the middle tier out of, like, out of the realm of possibility. Um, I think that Lou Williams deserves a look, especially on DK. And what is DeAndre's history? Not that this is gonna matter. History against Towns. He's eaten. Okay. I mean, this isn't a game that's going to really jump off the page. But the T-Wolves defense is bad. And... I mean, with Gallo potentially back, you don't want any of the you know, wing players, but... Lou Williams isn't going anywhere. It actually might help him if he's back. Okay, well, I didn't mean to look at this yet, but I will look at Butler. I will look at Wiggins. I have Bielitsa in, so I'm going to be off a of Taj if that's the case. But I will look at Butler and Wiggins. I know Butler sprained a finger or something stupid. I'll look at Towns as well, but... I think I'd prefer Drummond or something. I did mean to grab the Clippers, though. I'm starting to get really excited for tonight's slate. I don't know why. Something about it. Okay, so Lou Williams, I'm definitely going to take a look at. That's probably it from the Clippers. Definitely no Gallo. So Lou Williams needs 40. Yeah. And he did that on the nose in his last time out. He's done it. <sighs> He's only done it once with Blake out. He's been in the 30s. Um, but, you know, if he's got Wiggins on him... I can handle that. It's worth a look. And then for Minnesota, T gets 6,200 on FanDuel. That seems um, really nice. He that that's 31, which he has done once since he's been back. Does that match his play for the year? Yeah. Um, so I think that Teague looks pretty good. T-Wolves, 109.5, fifth highest implied total. Wiggins needs 30. He's done that five times in his last eight or something along those lines. Has his salary moved at all? He's down to 6,100. I think that Wiggins is a really good play tonight. And Butler needs 45. He's done it in his last three and basically five of his last six. Has his salary gone haywire? Up to 89. Yeah. He's been playing really well. I think that that's not going to be a spot for me. I'd rather have Durant. And then Towns needs 42. Just never really there, so I'll pass. So that's the short list for right now. I ran, uh, ran the optimizer on the projections 50 times. 
let's see how that shook out in comparison to what my short list looks like. Um, so at point guard, a lot of Teague. Rondo popped pretty high. So I do have Teague listed. I only had three point guards, Walker, Collison, and Teague. Walker does show up. No Collison, but it seems like Teague is going to be one of the answers for me at point guard. Might have to find a punt somewhere else. At shooting guard, um, Wiggins and Drew uh, both popped really high. Both of those guys are on my shooting guard list. Uh, I did not have Justin Holiday. Um, Clay is there. I don't have the rest of those guys. But I like that so far. Small forward, Denzel Valentine and Durant overwhelmingly the two guys here I obviously I have them both here and I'm expecting to go with both of them at small forward um, Rudy Gay is here as well power forward is the Zebo show apparently and then uh, we get some Draymond no sign of LaMarcus and Aaron Gordon does sneak in there so that'll be an interesting uh, thing to look at for the build then Towns is the most highly ranked center for me in uh, in the optimizer. And then Cousins, Mason Plumley, Gasol of the POW version, and then finally Drummond in one lineup. No sign of Mark, no sign of Kevin Love, no sign of Horford or Cantor. So I think center is going to be the place where I'm going to have to do some digging, find out if I'm crazy about Drummond or if I'm on the right track. Um Judging by having Towns and Cousins in 68% of the lineups combined, those are both high salary guys. So I think that I can get Drummond in there, especially having Cousins in a third of the lineups. I think that I can get Drummond in there in that spot and open up a little bit more value. Well, let's just take a look and see what happens when I do that. So if I do lock Andre Drummond, what? how do the percentages change? And obviously, this is just a this is just a you know a, a placeholder build, but I think it's worth taking a look to see how the short list lines up with sort of the optimal look across a bigger chunk. So point guard is probably Teague plus something. I don't really know what that something is going to be. Shooting guard. Looks a lot like it's going to be Holiday and Wiggins. Small forward is almost assuredly Denzel, Valentine, and Durant. And then power forward is going to be Zebo and something. Aaron Gordon drops off. So let's lock Teague. Let's lock Drew Holiday. Let's lock Wiggins. Let's lock Denzel and Durant and Zebo. And just drop that down to 20 and see what pops. So we're looking for a point guard, a power forward, or a point guard and a power forward, that's it. Um, which ends up being a mishmash of point guards. Nobody that I'm really on. So I'm going to have to do some heavy research at point guard because right now I'd have $10,100. And then at power forward... I'm not really getting any pieces that I needed. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to have that structure of those seven guys that I locked. It's probably because of Drummond. Because my lowest point guard remaining would be Collison at 64. My lowest power forward remaining is Draymond at 82. So I need to find a value power forward, I think. Um, if I were to move off of anybody that's on here right now, it would probably be maybe Teague, but that doesn't help me. He's my lowest point guard that I liked. Um... I don't know. It's going to be maybe value will open up. But that's where I'm at, guys.
If you like this video, please like it. If you don't like this video and you happen to watch the entire 50 something minutes of whatever this is, it might even be an hour, like it as well. Subscribe to the channel because it makes me grow and it makes everything better for me. Uh, I'm smacking shit. Um, follow me on Twitter, uh, my website, or my Patreon. I don't know which direction it is, but it's definitely up there. Um, check out the Reddit DFS page. Uh, I can be contacted pretty much anywhere. So come find me. We'll do live before lock, uh, 6 o'clock tonight, uh, the hour before lock. I will put in my final lineup, go over my contest structure, answer questions, do it all. So best of luck, guys, and uh, have a good day.